Hello and welcome to Mentoria Moments. Today we're going to do something a bit different. I got some runs to make and I decided that I'm just going to take you guys with me and I'm a blog and I don't really have a lot going on but I'm just going to ride through my city as I go from place to place. Um, I've been up early. I don't know why I had so much energy but I woke up this morning and I was just ready to go. And I'm sorry if my camera is jumping around. Um, I just bought this little thing to hold my camera and I it looked like it may be jumping. So if it is, I do apologize for that. Hopefully it's not, if it's too shaky, I might have to just say, forget the video. But anyway, I just have a lot to do. Um, I'm thinking tonight, my man is always taking me out. I think tonight I might actually take him on a date. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing that. So um, I picked up my mom's medicine and uh, Taken, I took that to her. I um, I went to Walmart this morning. I stopped at Five and Below to get this little phone thingamajiggy here. Um, it just seemed like it's shaking for no reason. I don't know why. Even when I'm sitting still, it's just shaking. So yeah. Strap your seatbelts on, get ready for this bumpy ride. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm in an SUV or if it's the raggedy streets or a mixture of both. But anyway, so um, I just, I need to go pick up some groceries. I don't know if I want to cook tonight or take my man out to eat tonight. I think I'm gonna play it by ear. We was online last night. Um, me and some of my, some of the ladies I've met and have grown to be very fond of. We was on live last night, and we was having such a good time. <laughs> we was having us a little drink or whatever. But I got sleepy really quick. You know, when I when I have a drink, I tend to get sleepy. So I fell asleep real fast. But for some reason, I woke up this morning with plenty of energy and ready to go. So I grabbed, you know, got dressed, got ready, grabbed me a bottle of water, and I was out the door. Come on, dude. It's a green light. Come on. Damn, sat here and made me miss the whole freaking light. Like, seriously. People got places to be. Now I don't need another red light. Let me get some money out for the firefighters. Dang it. Come on, here we go. Thank you. You have a good one. Thank you. Okay. Uh oh. I'm just gonna go ahead and hop on the highway because I'm sick of all these lights, baby. I just 
it can be relaxing when you know you're you're not you're not rushed here there everywhere throughout the day so it's good to be able to just be driving but not in no particular rush to get anywhere so you know i can kind of think you know i like to get into deep thought and it's relaxing when i'm on the highway and i can just exhale exhale and just think about my day and how i'm gonna do things and what i'm gonna do <sighs> life throws so many challenges your way sometimes it can get a bit overwhelming But you got to stand firm in your faith and stay focused on your goals and don't let nothing and nobody knock you off that path. You come across good people and you come across bad people you got to be able to you got to be able to um recognize those traits and those signs to know who you need to keep in your life and around you and who needs to go. Protect your energy, your peace, your family, your finances at all times. And you cannot share every part of you with everyone. Not everyone is worthy of that so as we take our journeys through life some are beginning and some are at the end and you know wherever you are in your life you still have to live by those same those same rules Gotta protect it at all times. I have been through a lot. And some people probably wouldn't have been able to handle all the things that I have been through. But when someone thinks they got me down, done backed me into a corner, or any of that, I come out swinging. I am strong. And I don't let my situations and circumstances get me down. I am who I am. And I'm not going to ever change. And I'm never going to let anyone feel as if... They have damaged me in some way. I am not damaged goods. And never will I sit and let someone think that they have tarnished my beauty in any way. Not the beauty on the inside, outside, all around. I'm in control of that, me and God. God has equipped me with the strength to keep going and keep moving. And I'm going to keep pushing forward. Never give up on you. That's what I would tell you all. Never give up on you.
nobody said life was going to be easy. Nobody said that it was going to be a walk in the park. I was always told by my parents, anything worth having is worth working hard for. And that's the same thing I tell my kids. Well, they're not kids anymore, but that's the same thing I tell my young adults and grown men and women. <laughs> they still my babies, okay? Anything worth having is worth working hard for. I'm gonna drive you guys by my old high school. and areas that I grew up in. Just taking you on a little ride with me. My hood is what we call it. It's my hood. You know, some people say inner city. Some people say midtown. Call it where you, what you want to call it. Um, call it my hood so it is what it is but yes it's just relaxed relaxing and just driving around and enjoying some sights passing my mom's church I won't be like I and on things like that but I just passed my mom's church and I'm gonna have to turn the camera a little bit when I get up here to make sure you guys can see my old school high school I went to the old central and then it got torn down and they built the new central so I went to the new central for so okay so let me see here we go Try to, okay so this is the middle school that central middle I went there for seventh and eighth grade i was actually the last sixth grade class to graduate from elementary school so now middle school is sixth seventh and eighth but when i was in school it was only seventh and eighth grade so that was my middle school and here is central high school i went there um for freshman sophomore and then i had got pregnant with my son i'm gonna turn the corner so you guys can see i got pregnant with my son at 16 well 15 and i had him at 16 so i actually left central and went to a teenage parent center for school called dunbar not sure if dunbar is still around i don't think it is but it was a school for pregnant teenagers. So here is Central High School. And yeah, so that's where I went for high school. So um, once I had my baby, I just took uh, GED classes because uh, I wanted to just hurry up and, and get my GED so I can, you know, I was just thinking about working and making money to provide for my child. That's where my mind was at. But, um, so I, I left Dunbar. I started taking GED classes, but then I got a job where the classes and the hours, it wasn't, you know, allowing me to have time to do what I needed to do. So, um, I ended up stopping the classes and just working. But I eventually went back and um, 
got my GED and went on to college. It took me some time. I was back and forth in and out, but um, I was just wanting to make sure that I was able to provide. And my mindset was it was money first. You know, I had I started so young being a mother that, you know, I had to make money. I had to take care of my child. So it's like I always took the money over the education but I was able to fix all that. But it took me, um, I can't remember exactly how old I was. I was in my 20s before I got my GED and went to college, but I didn't give up. Um, I still got some ways to go, but I started my own business and wanted to be an entrepreneur and I realized I can make money and a living uh, without the degree so once again I put the degree on hold and I started I went into business for myself so if you do not know I have an online boutique named Decorus Boutique and um, I one day want to have a storefront but right now um, online is is good for me so I think the next place I'm gonna take you can um, Missouri is uh, popular for our fountains so I want to take you guys past a fountain that we used to always play in when I was growing up and it's called freedom fountain <laughs> I don't know if you if you from Kansas City then you know about Freedom Fountain whether you swam in it or not you know about Freedom Fountain and we got some of the worst streets okay these streets are horrible if you from here you know the struggle is real. And you can see it coming up on left over here. I'm going to try to zoom in if I can. That's Freedom Fountain. And as you can see, uh, people are still going over there with their kids. I mean, it's just something that we have always done. I even had my kids over in there. <laughs> and this little strip here, uh -oh. is Brush Creek. Now, when it gets the rain in real hard, this area will flood. And they will um, cut it off. Okay. Well, that's the Navy Reserve Center. you guys up uh oh my camera keeps sliding around up prospect here, here come a fire truck so I don't know which way it's gonna go but now we're on prospect and time before this fire truck comes is it turning this way Okay.
so yes this is prospect i'm gonna drive up prospect just for a little bit just to kind of let you guys see what what it looks like Johnny's Donuts. Man, I should have got that on there. I might have to come back down and get that. Johnny's Donuts. We used to walk to Johnny's Donuts all the time. And I used to always get the uh, dozen of donut holes. That was my favorite. <laughs> these streets here, me and my friends, we used to walk up and down these streets. This is where I grew up. take you guys um brooklyn park the park where we used to hang out at when we were younger i don't like going there now but when i was younger we used to hang out up there so i'm gonna turn around and i'm gonna take you guys to brooklyn park this is 34th Street. I'm going to go ahead and turn here so I can make my way back down because Brooklyn Park is in the 40s and that's where I'm from. I grew up on Faux Block and if you're from Kansas City, you already know. I'm not even going to go into all that, but it is what it is. That's where I grew up at. So, I don't really get out much. So, 
know I'm sightseeing right along with you guys because I'm in the house so much sometimes I forget what things even you know need to come through so this is 39th Street 39th in Brooklyn and I hate being over here because my dad was actually murdered right there on 39th and Garfield and every time I'm in this area it's just We used to decorate a tree, but the tree was torn down and there's a whole gas station over there now. So I just don't like, this area got good memories and bad memories too. And just driving through here, you know, I start thinking about all that stuff. Like right here on 41st Street, well, up this street here, my, um, my boyfriend at the time was murdered not too far from where my dad was murdered so it's like it, driving through here is bittersweet you know I think all the memories of growing up and what oh this glass I don't know that. memories of growing up and playing through these streets but then you got the memories of losing your loved ones and and that's hurtful too and here is Brooklyn Park. All ride right, slowly. It's a really huge park. Um, back in the day, there used to be a, a wooden castle up on the hill, kind of where the picnic table is now. But this is Brooklyn Park. And that's where I'm going to end it. Pray for me and I'll pray for you. And until next time, going about your business and have a blessed day.